yeah that is that is great that is just great oh my gosh okay um let's see what's in k photo <laughs> oh my God. okay so we got k photo here which about a i'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that's the, the i photo logo but let's see k photo help do i dare okay we got introduction k photo startup Photo main window, main menu, edit toolbar. This program, K Photo, used by our operating system, Red Star Desktop 3.0. With this program, you can import pictures, make the source images library, group, and manage them in various albums, view thumbnails, process a selected image, and print them. Yeah, uh, K Photo Startup. Please run Finder and select Applications K Photo. No, it's the K Finder. You got that wrong. Um, you can see the following K Photo startup. No, I can't because it's just nothing. Um, so this is in, in badly translated English. I'm not sure if this is them actually translating it to English or just um, me doing uh, that like one root command and, and changing it over. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's. I mean, at least it doesn't say Apple.com, you know, blatantly in there. But you know, it's kind of a, a HTML file where we got, you know, we can jump to different parts of the image or parts of the image parts of the page yeah so that's 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 k photo you know I'm, I'm not going to go too in depth into all these programs we're actually for like 45 minutes into this video already but i'm probably gonna have to do a lot of cuts to it uh, but man i just can't get over that that k cal thing like my gosh that's okay um mail we have a uh, mail program we'll run uh, about i want not the k finder uh, this is version 3.0 actually and mail help I'm gonna look at the help documents of all these now the mail handbook content introduction getting started setting your identity using mail testing your setup chapter one introduction next since most people do not read documentation anyway here's a collection of the most helpful tips <laughs> oh my god okay that is great okay that's great this is okay. North Korea knows everybody. Since most people do not read documentation, <laughs> you do not have to use your mouse to use mail. Everything can be done using keyboard shortcuts. Although mail can be considered reliable, you should keep backups of your messages, i.e., just copy the files and folders in mail, including the hidden ones that start with a dot, to a safe place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, this <laughs> just Oh my god, that is just <laughs> Okay, this is oh my god, this video is oh god this <laughs> Okay, that's just that's just hilarious. Like what is <laughs> You're not read documentation. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's just read some of this. Um Chapter 2, Getting Started. This is a short introduction to mail and its usage, so you can start working with it right away. For more in-depth information, see the Using Mail section. Invoking mail for the first time creates a folder called Mail in your home folder. This folder contains an initial folders, inbox, outbox, sent mail, trash, and drafts. The configure window consists of five sections, and then these network appearance composer and miscellaneous to begin sending and receiving messages, blah, blah, blah. Um, I.e. John Doe, John Example.net. Um, yeah, great way using English names, North Korea, that's great. Um, yeah, uh, so that is interesting. I just closed that out, out of that crap. But yeah, that is that that is mail. Um, interesting. I'm, I'm not sure if this is a, a fork of some mail program again. Actually, I'm sure all these are forks of some other programs. But yeah, uh, that is that is great. Uh, we have QuickTime Player. We'll get to this in a minute. I think this is actually, actually, we'll just get to it now because I just accidentally clicked on it. Uh, QuickTime Player. This to me looks like the same QuickTime Player just with a different icon. Um, version 1.0. Do we dare go to help and about? QuickTime Player help. Using QuickTime Player. What is QuickTime Player? QuickTime Player is a free multimedia player that can use many kinds of files, including video, audio, still images, texts. Including video, audio, still images, texts. Okay. Um, 
opening the player to use QuickTime to play video, audio, text images. To open a movie, do one of the following. In Finder, no, it's the K Finder. In the K Finder, double click the file or drag it to QuickTime Player application. You can drag, yeah, it's just basic help. But yeah, QuickTime Player 1.0, non, probably not made by Apple, probably not supported by Apple. <laughs> Anyway, um, we were uh, next up. Since I accidentally clicked on that, I saw that is the um, uh, Naynera. I'm not sure. Again, I'm probably butchering that name. It's the Naynera browser, which is based on Firefox, and we get a error here that I can't read. I think this is probably asking if you want to make it your default browser, maybe. And you see that it points us to 10.76.1.11 slash Naynera browser slash ko whatever first run so I'm guessing this is it pointing to the like uh, Korean internet or the North Korean internet or something um, and again something that I can't read I'm or well I mean I can read this but I mean I like know what this page is saying it's saying like hey we can't find the server because obviously there's no network or everything but yeah this is based off of Firefox um, we'll go to the help page You'll see that it actually uses the .app, like the .app ex um, uh, extension, and it's actually reading inside, like file applications, .app, and it's going inside of that to um, Firefox help. <laughs> they are just, they have no shame at all for copying everything. This is literally a modified Firefox help document to feature the uh, uh, North Korean intranet with the new, you know, browser. Or the new browser icon and everything um, but yeah that's that's one of the other things I was saying is that this actually uses the idea dot app extension which Mac OS 10 uses the dot app extension I'm not sure if many Linux distros use dot app so kind of another you know reason kind of proving how they literally just copy things over from OS 10 you know sort of modify them and put like K finder and this you know all that um, but yeah, that is the uh, Naynera browser. We have a PDF editor, which is probably going to be a basic PDF editor. Um, about we have a nice uh, Adobe-looking logo there, kind of. <laughs> that's that's great. All right, so we'll go to Help and PDF Editor Help, and we'll see. I'm just going to look at all these help documents because why not? About PDF Editor Introduction. It enables you to open PDF file or save it with changes you have made. User interface, it consists of main window, toolbars, and bookmark window. Main features, you can manipulate a PDF file, work with graphics on it, search the text, and print it. Short keys, several short keys will make it easier for you to use. Okay, introduction. Introduction, it enables you to open PDF file or save it with changes you have made. First of all, you can select PDF file and view it. As you draw, edit several types of graphics and save it. Nice. User interface. It consists of main window, toolbars, and bookmark window. iPhone SDK. That's a nice uh, iPhone SDK. Okay, that's that's great. Um, bookmark window. It shows the bookmark information of a PDF file, and you can easily find slash select the topics from it. Toolbars. These are for you to manipulate a PDF file or edit it. iPhone SDK again. I wonder what like the North Korean people if if like. Well, what they want. I mean, I'm sure they, they, they know about iPhones. Maybe not. I have no idea. Um, you can navigate PDF file and work with it on this window. You can easily open PDF file through the open dialog. You can also make some drawings and edit the documents. So yeah, that that's a great PDF thing here. I just I just love the iPhone SDK thing. This this operating system is just full of gems, and th and this video is going on like an hour long. But I'm I'm probably gonna have to cut it into two because this is just this is just too great not to look at everything in here. Um, we have preview, which is probably just you know a, a preview application. Um, yeah, it just allows us to preview things. Preview help. Viewing cell size image files, then rotate, resize, crop, and convert them. This literally looks like the Apple preview help. Like this looks like the Apple design web page, so yeah, that's nice. Like when I click on close preview, this is still open. Um, 
So we got that. We already uh, took a look at uh, QuickTime Employer. We got Simple Text. Simple Text, aka Text Edit. <laughs> Literally Text Edit. Um, about Simple Text version 1.0. Take a look at this. Again, literally the same Apple document. Simple text makes it easy, makes it easy to edit text. You will feel it useful in editing. <laughs> you will feel it. You will feel it useful in editing. And simple text is apparently one word at this point. Um, that's great. Main feature: you can know what is supported by this application. In this chapter, main feature is introduced. Font menu, you can choose font. Size menu, you can choose font size. It just tells you all the, the all the things it does. So yeah, that's simple text. I want to discard. Um, we have the software manager, which is for uh, installing software. I'm not sure what software they allow you to install, but yeah, we can import a uh, local or a remote repository. We, I guess if you were allowed to, you would be given a name and a yeah, system update. And we have the setting. You can update the setting. And and, and yeah, I, th I think this actually kind of looks like it was actually made by them because it's kind of got their logo in the back here. Of course, they could just easily modify that. I have no idea. But you'll notice that there's no options up here. Like it still says K Finder and everything. So yeah, we'll, we'll just close out of that. Uh, so that's software manager. We we uh, already took a look at the office. We have uh, stickies, which is probably just the same thing as OS X stickies. And I, I'm, I'm sorry if I said that a lot. I just can't really. I, I don't know. It's just same thing, really. Um, hello. Now we'll, we'll. I'm gonna take a look at the help file first. Um, before we close it, uh, this is the same Apple one, so not really any point. Um, system preferences. Um, unbang UI. <laughs> Let's take a look at system preferences first. Um, so here's all kind of the settings. Let's see what, like when I was messing with the flag, okay, input sources, that's what it was. Um, US, okay, this is US. Yeah, I, I was going to be like, there's no US flag in here. and But it just says EN. So they took out like the US flag. <laughs> um, but formats, region United States of America so it has like our region here calendar we're I think we're on the uh, Gregorian calendar I think that's what we use over here um, yeah we're on the Gregorian calendar uh, numbers first day of the week Sunday so yeah, we can kind of customize it to our Western <laughs> feel I guess because it lets you do that um, but that's that saying uh, displays we can get some pretty basic display options to go up to actually let's can we make it 1080p I wonder indeed we can okay I should have done that way earlier um all right here we go we're like an hour into the video and I've already made it 1080p um so yeah that is nice I'm just gonna eject the CD here so yeah it, it does run at you know 1080p and I think it, it like went up higher than that which is nice um, so yeah, uh, sy system preferences, you can change preferences, obviously. Um, unbang UI, I have no idea what this is. Um, I think this is like, let's see here. This looks like it's almost uh, some sort of like a music program of some sorts. Again, I can't really read anything. You guys can kind of, if you want, kind of tell me what it is. But it, yeah, it, it kind of looks like it's some sort of music program. Um, and you can add music notes and stuff. Not really sure. Yeah, you can you can play. There's a play button up here. So yeah, I'm guessing it's kind of like some sort of music producing program, um, which is which is kind of interesting. So yeah, that's on there. Again, I can't read any of it, so we'll just we'll just close out of it. Um, yeah, and yeah, you know, I I I know I've, I've gone kind of fast, and actually, I don't want to save it use an SM2 file extension. So yeah, I know I have gone kind of fast through all these programs, but I, I really just kind of wanted to, you know, kind of show you um, 
all of the you know programs on here and i think that the programs in, in in the doc you know these are the same programs that we like already took a look at so we've really taken a look a brief look kind of even though this video has gone on for like an hour um we have some more things in here um but these are kind of we have bokum which doesn't work i'm just kind of picking out uh, the interesting things uh, um activity monitor disk utility uh, network utility these and system profiler are, are pretty much the same things that are on OS 10 so there's not really any point I mean I'll just show you here for example in the activity monitor it's literally the same thing um, so there's not really any point I mean they have of course changed like the about screen to get rid of all the Apple references and in here is kind of kind of gotten rid of the Apple stuff but you can still kind of see some references to it like say that's like an image from a Mac right there you can see kind of like um, uh, like the circle and like um, and sort of the aqua interface so I'm, I'm guessing this is an old like if that's if, if, if this is aqua that means like this must be from OS 10 tiger or panther I mean that's like 10.4 at least or at most I mean, we're on 10.11 now, so they're using a pretty old version of OS 10 to base all these. Or this might be just an old help document, I don't know. But, yeah, so. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I just thought this was kind of interesting to, you know, take a look at kind of, you know, North Korean, uh, you know, computing and kind of how they do computing over there. I mean, I, I just thought it was kind of interesting that they were able to do all this and make it look really like a you know pretty good clone of uh os 10 which i think is you know kind of uh, really interesting to be honest with you um and yeah you know d uh, despite all the uh weird like the k finder and like <laughs> freaking all this stuff in like the uh, the k cow and k photo um it's a really interesting operating system i mean it's like really something that um you know I, I don't know, definitely something that for us over here on like, you know, in like non, you know, North Korea, like in uh, the US and, you know, Europe and other places, because, um, you know, we're not used to the culture that they're used to, you know, they're used to a whole different way of life, you know, kind of like isolation. And this is all that they're really used to when it comes to, uh, you know, technology and things like that. They're not really, you know, exposed to um, like the outside world, and, like the outside internet. And this is really all they have to kind of browse that uh, the you know limited internet that they do have access to. So yeah, I mean it is really um, cool to for me to you know kind of uh, take a look at it with you guys. And yeah, I'm probably gonna have to make this a two part video because it's an hour long, and I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of extensive editing to cut it down on the uh, video time. But yeah, you know if if you guys like this and if you want to see more videos like this. Um, in the future, I'm not really sure if there's going to be, you know, any other, uh, Red Star OS, uh, like, big releases, which, you know, there might be, like, a 4.0 version, and, you know, and there might already be a 4.0 version, we just don't know about it, but, I mean, you know, if I can get my hands on that, I mean, yeah, I would definitely, uh, make a video on that if you guys think this is interesting, but, um, yeah, just, you know, uh, drop me a comment down below, you know, tell me what you guys think and if you guys wanted to, uh, you know, translate uh, some of the, uh, you know, Korean things during uh, the installation process. Um, if you guys are, you know, fluent uh, in Korean. Um, and if you are, obviously, that's okay, too. Um, but yeah, you know, I just would love to uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You know, this has been a really uh, fun video to make. Um, and I just uh, would like to thank you guys for all of your uh, amazing support here on the channel. And if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.